Brexit talks are heating up this month as the government defies calls from Remainers such as Tony Blair to seek an extension, but an unearthed podcast has revealed that Mr Blair once showed his appreciation for the points against the EU raised in Margaret Thatcher's iconic Bruges speech of 1988. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is determined to bring Brexit talks to a close at the end of the year, so that the UK can officially leave the bloc. However, the EU wants to extend the deadline by two years. The opposing sides will be meeting at the end of June to make a final decision regarding the extension, but they have to make a trade deal on fishing and a level playing field first. Brexiteers are growing increasingly frustrated by the delayed process. The question of European membership has never really gone away, ever since Edward Heath took Britain into the bloc on January 1, 1973. And when Margaret Thatcher gave her infamous Bruges speech in 1988, it appeared Britain was on an increasingly Eurosceptic course, further reinforced by the divisions within John Major's government over the Maastricht Treaty in the 90s. Many thought, however, that Mr Blair's election in 1997 showed a move towards pro-EU sentiment in the UK which clashed with Mrs Thatcher's legacy, as he was keen to keep ties with the bloc. Yet, the two former prime ministers may have had more in common than previously thought. The BBC's Witness History programme revealed in October 2019 how Mr Blair had been praising his predecessor. BBC podcast host Susan Holmes spoke to Sir Stephen Wall who wrote one of Mrs Thatcher's most prominent speeches, and he explained how Mr Blair had requested a copy of her Bruges speech. The speech to the College of Europe from 1988 is credited with putting the UK on the path to Brexit. Sir Stephen recalled, I didn't say anything when I gave it to Blair, but I had the thought that he then voiced when he read it that this is actually a very good speech. And that actually when you look at it now, there is not much that the other 27 heads of government would not subscribe. The speech read, Europe is not the creation of the Treaty of Rome. 